All right, big three, two, one, boomer here. We are flying without a net, so prepare yourself. Live from the uh, Gray Owl in downtown Boomtown. Get ready for it. There it is, the downtown Boomtown. Uh, some hidden little city. No one knows where it is. Somewhere in the Midwest, we think. Probably Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, Energy Boom 101. Uh, this is a special episode, Flying Without a Net, because we don't have a clue what we're going to talk about, other than... It sure looks to me like things are, you know, doing pretty well here at the Owl. They seem to be enjoying a nice, sustained business. I wonder if uh, if this is the uh, beginnings of the boom. We'd like to come back here uh, some other point and see if we're noticing a swell of activity. I think you'll probably see um, summertime will be interesting. Uh, historically, it slows down a little bit, but we may see a little more activity than normal. Um, as we sort of uh, peruse the owl. Let's grab the old newspaper here and uh, prepare yourself. It's the greatest thing ever. Get ready for it. It's the Oklahoman. Uh, they don't make them like this anymore. That's for damn sure. Uh, and uh, wow, got some uh, crazy stuff happening here. We're going to go straight to the business section and we're just going to see what the heck we got. You know, you just got to look at this. Wow, this is nice. Downtown's historic First National Center is for sale. Uh, First National Center is one of uh, probably about seven or eight skyscrapers downtown uh, Action City. That's Oklahoma City, Action City, different than Boom City, Boom Boom Town, which is Normantown. Um, this will be interesting. I'm sure someone will buy it, and it'll probably be a big deal. Here's what's interesting: if it's for sale, I bet an oil company may buy this. Let's just let's follow this here. First National Center is up for sale with brokers urging potential buyers to look at it as a, as a redevelopment opportunity. Oh man, this is going to be wicked. Someone is going to pop that thing. I don't know who, but someone is. And I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be wicked. All right, now let's see what else we got here. Uh, partners take on project with Gusto. Talking about a restaurant. All right, love them for that. When industry invests in state, that's really interesting. Because there are areas where they probably want to drill for oil as well as put up a... Uh, wind turbines and I'm not so sure you can do both so I think we'll do our best to follow this which means we will you know we'll read this headline there you go wind industry investing in state how's that for following it uh, but clearly there's going to be a, a side story there to the energy boom uh, when you start bringing in matter of fact hey hey let's just read the opening paragraph under pressure from a proposed legislative moratorium on developments covering half of Oklahoma Members of the wind industry released a study Wednesday touting the economic benefits of wind energy. Okay, let me give you an update. Let's read this again, this first uh, sentence. Under pressure from a proposed legislative moratorium on developments covering half of Oklahoma. So what happened is there's a move in the legislature to put a moratorium on any more wind developments in, the, in I believe, in the entire half of Oklahoma that is, I believe, east of I-35. So up there, you know, like the Tulsa area. Pretty wicked. I mean, I don't know exactly what that's all about, but... Uh, Basically, the east half of the state, I-35 east half of the state, uh, there's proposed legislation for a moratorium on wind development, so I'm sure that has maybe some uh, oil and gas companies behind it. Someone ought to look into that. Hey, you know what we'll do? Here's, here's a call to arms. We'll hire someone if they'll cover the wind industry, because I'm not going to do it. All right, get ready. Um, there's, you know we're going to find some good oil stuff, even though I think this is what's really fun to follow. See what's going to move in there? I'd love to see a big old oil company take it over, redo it, make it a crown jewel. I say it's going to happen, by golly. All right, let's see what else we got here. Motorcycle dealership coming to Oklahoma City. Wow. Oh, fucking. Pardon me, folks. P-H-U-C-K-I-N-G. This is definitely a boom uh, article. Uh, uh, Indian franchise is coming to Automobile Alley. Indian Motorcycles will open its first Oklahoma City dealership near Automobile Alley. That's the old Indian. These things are legendary. That's huge boom news right there for Oklahoma City. Um, hey, look at this. Walmart's hiring in two locations. Folks, if you need, if you want to do something, uh, come to Oklahoma. It's booming. If you don't think it's booming, you're uh, sadly mistaken. Now, we don't know uh, how long it's going to last. No one ever knows, but uh, most folks think it's 10 years. Okay, here's here's something. You got a block party set for Midtown. Midtown's a hip new area in Oklahoma City. Uh, okay, let's. The Fads are trying to block Citigroup from raising dividends. They can't do that. Uh, Facebook founder is spending his question. Mark Zuckerberg, great great mugshot. Oh, look at this. Houston's Bayou Evolution into Busy Port is ongoing. Yeah, that's because Houston's also booming like crazy, like super crazy. It's pretty much the energy center center of the world. Um, let's
let's see if there's anything in here. Oh shit! Get ready. I see a bunch of oil patch jazz. Look at that. Oil. Look at those oil logs. But first, let's just see what else we got here. Um, I'm not seeing any big oil news, but you never really wanna. You don't wanna miss out on a whole lot here. Uh, we're definitely gonna get to the uh, to the oil patch jazz. Um, it would be worth probably looking into that uh, wind article because that's going to be an interesting sort of. There's probably going to be competition, I would suspect, uh, between the Wind uh, Energy uh, Association and then the oil and gas industry, and then there might even be a little cannabis community in there, which would give us a great confluence. Which, at uh, five minutes and forty-eight seconds into the hour, I'm happy to let you know uh, this is Energy Boom 101. Check this out: the confluence where crude and cannabis meet because there's a big boom going on in the United States and it's part crude oil and it's part cannabis and right here in Norman, Oklahoma is a big recipient of that boom as you can see less than two years ago this place was basically empty now it seems to enjoy a nice all-day flow of activity uh, maybe one of these days we'll talk to uh, one of the owners if they're crazy enough to get on camera with us now get ready and prepare yourself here it comes you know what it is that's a pretty wicked effect. Look at that guy's head. Uh, this, of course, is the lens of the transparent barrel. Uh, we can't prove that, but we think it is. It's been polished by the confluence. It's been polished by the optimism of uh, crude oil and the uh, compassion of the cannabis community. And they polish this lens, and we look through it. This is what we look through to capture the uh, oil patch jazz. Look at that. Okay, hang on. It's too hard. Here we go. That's eh, sort of fun, though. Actually, we'll use it when we need to. Okay, get ready. A big bevy of them coming at you. Alfalfa County. Sandridge has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frickin' wells. So get ready for them. I'm just going to go barrels per day. If there's big gas, we'll report on that. Then we'll give you, we'll give you an average of the, uh, of the um, depth they're going. All right. Here we go. 24.15 barrels a day. That's not much. 26 barrels a day. Not much. Ooh, 803 barrels a day, 3.4 million cubic feet of gas a day. Cuh, frickin' boom, baby. That's a big one. Uh, here's another one. 121 barrels of oil a day, 76 barrels of oil a day, 55 barrels of oil a day, 87.5 barrels of oil a day. Now, even better, what are the names of the wells? Here's one, the Ruby Trust. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Hawkins, the Allenbach. Those are nice names. Okay, let's get on. To, so that's Alfalfa County, and that was Sandridge. And they're hitting, you heard one big one there, 803 barrels a day, I guarantee is nothing to sneeze at. Let's get to Ellis County. Uh, Alfalfa County remembers the Mississippi Lime play. You're going you're gonna to hear a lot about that in Oklahoma. Ellis County, I think that's probably the granite wash. Uh, that's primary natural resources, and they got one at 161 barrels a day. Not bad. Grady County is Chickasha. That's a hot area. And check out this name, Quantum Resources Management. Where do they find these guys? We're gonna do it. We're gonna look them up. 76 barrels a day. Uh, you're gonna have to do better than that if you're gonna call yourself Quantum. Let's go to Grant County. You got Sandridge popping one for 36 barrels a day. Now we're heading up to Kay County. You got two of them from International Energy. One's at 36. One's at 26. That ain't bad, but they're only going down 4,600 feet, so that's pretty good. Uh, hey, you got a third one from International Energy at 21 barrels a day. Okay, here's a great one. Lincoln County. Now Lincoln County is, I believe, where Chandler is. And that's part of the uh, Woodford play, I think. Now, there's Calix Energy has two wells, and Calix Energy sold some of their land to American Energy Partners, which is Aubrey McClendon, so we now have a chance to uh, give you a little symphony of shale update. Speaking of symphonies of shale, this, this, this place is just shale to shining shale, and there's just freaking stems sprouting all over the place. Uh, Calix Energy, uh, the McClendon's American Energy Partners bought some of their land. Uh, Calix Energy's got two wells in Lincoln, one's at 17 barrels a day, and the other one doesn't show much. W hey, guess who else is drilling in Lincoln County? Williams Clayton Energy. This, this old school oily out of uh, Texas, I believe. William Clayton, he got himself 28 barrels a day. Now we're going to Payne County. Now that's another hot little county. You're going to see Devon drilling there, and pretty soon you're going to see... Um, Osage drill in there. And once again, we got Calix Energy with one, two, three, four, five wells. So get ready for them. Payne County, five wells, the Cinco de Mayo, 169 barrels a day, 286 barrels a day, 207 barrels a day, 182 barrels a day, and 306 barrels a day. So probably pretty good. Uh, we're going up to Texas County now. That's out in the panhandle. Oxy USA didn't do a whole lot there. I think that's Occidental. 
Um, and then in Woods County, that's uh, that's Mississippi line play, and that's northwest Oklahoma. You got Sandridge, and they popped one for 125 barrels a day. So Sandridge had a good uh, well there at 803 barrels a day in Alfalfa County. Uh, let's look, and that's pretty much the completions. Let's take a look at the intent to drill. And uh, you got uh, in Beaver County, which is the panhandle, you got Chaparral's going to go up there. Canadian County is El Reno area. You got Devon drilling there. Dewey County, great name, Lighthouse Oil and Gas. And guess what the name of the well is? The Scissor Tail. Now that's just damn pretty. I'm going to repeat that. Dewey County, Lighthouse Oil and Gas, Scissor Tail. That's pretty nice. Uh, Garfield County, you got Husky Ventures drilling up there. Garvin County, here's a great one Nitro Petroleum. You kidding me? K County International, Kingfisher Husky, Payne County Crown Energy, the Crown of Energy, uh, in Roger Mills County, which is that's uh, Western Oklahoma. That's like the granite wash play. You got Apache. They're going to be drilling. Uh, they always drill big out there. Uh, they got the Lori Well and the McCracken. Couple couple wells out there in Roger Mills. Stevens County, you got Continental Resources. You know all about Hank Ham. He's getting it done. He's tied up in a little divorce right now, but they'll get it figured out. Stevens County, I think, is south around Ardmore. And that's the Continental Resources drilling in the Scoop, the self-proclaimed South Central Oklahoma oil province, the Scoop. Uh, Woods County, you got Chaparral Energy popping it up there. You got Mid-States. They had some interesting articles today in Seeking Alpha. You may want to check that out. Trading about five bucks a share. They IPO'd at 11, so who knows. Uh, and then you got Sandridge. And if you're crazy enough, and since we're only 12 minutes into it, hell, I'll read you the damn livestock report if you want it. In the meantime, I take you back to the uh, transparent barrel where we may sign off because this was a flying by the net, fly, flying without a net, pardon me, flying without a net episode. And uh, we, we found a little bit of uh, oil and gas activity. I think the most enjoyable thing is to speculate on what's going to happen to the historic First National Center. I'm going to go ahead and just speculate because I think it's such an easy bet to make is that it's probably going to be an oil-related company. And I'd love for it for, to be some big ass, like Schlumberger sets up a field office there. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to follow this. We'll, we'll, we're following it for you uh, from uh, downtown Norman, of course, and we're going to sign you off with a lovely little uh, pull away from uh, the Gray Owl. But uh, first, we're going to uh, let you know uh, all about Energy Boom 101, which is, there's really nothing to know. It's pretty ridiculous. However, we do like to always repeat our slogans because the attorneys advised me that I had to do this. Um, and that is basically that we, let's see, if I can remember all these, I know there was chasing the narrative from one uh, gusher at a time, uh, which is more about uh, the question of free will. And we'll do a spinoff with the uh, philosophy department at BoomU and the cognitive science department if they'd ever call us back. Uh, we've also got the um, uh, enjoying the echoes of existence. That's a good one. Oh, illuminating the chasm between brain and being. That's a good one. You know? And then, of course, connecting crude to consciousness. Those are all, all those things are done one gusher at a time. They're all trademark slogans. Don't even try it. It's done. And then, of course, the uh, way we like to open the show, which I think we'll close it on this one, is that we, uh, we love to drill the uh, strata of self and frack the feelings of being. Now, in case you haven't figured that one out, that's pretty much the confluence of where crude drilling strata, and then the self, of course, being the brain, fracking, crude, but the feelings of being, of course, being cannabis. You blend the two, um, you get some pretty crazy stuff. That's going to be it for Energy Boom 101. We hope to bring you more breaking news as it breaks. Three, two, one, boom.